Hi, my name is Charles and I'm one of the maths teachers from the Maxim Workshop. I'm just going to now teach you how to do some math. Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate surface area. Now surface area is um, a measurement or quantity that has two dimensions and that basically means you have a length or you have a height or you have a length and you have a width. Okay? Now, commonly you would find the units of um, surface area denoted as meter squared, um, kilo kilometer squared, um, centimeter squared. And it's basically this number two here that tells you you have two dimensions. So that relates to a meter, i.e. a length, then multiplied by a length. So obviously, um, if you're measuring a length, you would only have meters. If you're measuring surface area, then you would have this number two placed up on your meters. If you're measuring cubic area, which is basically a volume, then you would have a number three, okay? So that would be length times width times height. Now, the classic case um, um, relating to surface area is just say in an exam question you might find say something like a garden or something like that and they want to know how much um, material that might be laid over that garden even like a carpet you'll need to know surface area okay okay so this is the picture of the garden um, with an isolated area over here which might be say like a sand pit and you've got this area here which is the house now our focus is really the garden here which is outlined the total garden which is outlined by the blue line now if we look at the total surface area of the garden that might that information might be provided and you will have something like 100 meters squared Now, imagine if they provided you with lengths of the second smaller area within the garden, which might be your sand pit. So, you do know this length has five meters, and this has six meters. Now, what they were interested in for this particular question is what was the lengths of this area, this area. Now the first thing you would need to know is your equation for calculating areas. Now that again is just basically equal to length times width. Okay. So for B we can make a direct calculation about this because we have the lengths and we have the width. So for A so the area of B is equal to 5 meters times 6 meters. And all we have to do is multiply the numbers together and of course multiply the units together, which is here. So 5 times 6 is 30 and M times M up here is meters squared. So this gives us the area of B. Now again, we want to find the area of A. So now if you look at the total area, this is given as 100 meters squared. So, if you wanted to find A, this area here, subtracting the sub um, sample, then obviously you would look at this area, which is the total area, and then just subtract B, which is your 
sandpit area and that would actually leave you with the remaining area which is just A. So the area of A is equal to 100 meters squared subtracting 30 meters squared. And that leaves us with 70 meters squared. Okay? So again, just to recap, um, area is calculated by length times width, but as you can see in this question, sometimes you can make just minor subtractions, just like this one with um, the calculation of A, just subtracting the smaller section, which is B, from the total section, that can also calculate the area of, say, a shape like this. So that's how to calculate surface area.